So we're here in the tunnel after Portsmouth's 4 0 win versus Canesham. I'm here with Ed Filmer and Perry Northeast. So, guys, you must be absolutely thrilled. 4 0 after not having played for a while, it's a great result. Uh, fantastic. Um, yeah, I've, we couldn't have done much more today. Um, we've trained so hard. The players themselves, it's been difficult at times to train, I think Ed will agree. Um, but we've worked on, like I said, in the press, almost everything we've tried to work on um, for today's game. And they listened to us gratefully. And yeah, the players themselves were. Fantastic all of them. Yeah. A surface you're used to in training, 3G, but not maybe not in match conditions. How do you think the, the, the ladies fared out there today, having probably being out of their comfort zone in match conditions? Yeah, well, we need good pitches, as simple as that. We're, we're trying to make sin, and not saying we're not already, but we want to be a footballing side. So, yeah, we can go direct, but we need more pitches like this, and I think they thrived in that. Um, Gemma Simmons, Sarah Kempson, Ellie Bloomfield, the midfield three today, they need good surfaces, and when they have good surfaces, you can see what, what they do. So, yeah. 3G seems to be a bit spongier than obviously grass. Ed, Sarah seemed to, Sarah Campton seemed to twist and maybe hurt her knee. Is, is everything okay with her? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's more than knock. I think the impact uh, took an impact from one of the players, so um, it was all right in the end. We thought it might be a twist at the start, but it was, she was fine. Just ran off really, so mm. straight back out. And obviously with the rain as well, the surface is quite slick, which helped you with your passing game today. I thought you were excellent along the ground. Yeah. Um, perhaps the person who was unlucky is, is their goalkeeper with, with a bit of a wet surface because two of our goals were sort of. Uh, just follow-ups, um, great for us, perhaps it didn't work so well for their keeper, but, but yeah, brilliant, I'm, I'm so happy that we've got players following up and the surface played a part in that perhaps. Charlie Wilson had a great game, where yeah. she hit the crossbar, hit the post, had a one-on-one -on -one saved, she could do everything right except score today, unfortunate really. Yeah, I think we take, yeah, it's all our work rate as well though, to be fair, she offers us so much more than just obviously goals, um, get like assists, create, chuck, create mm -hmm. chances, like all, all sorts where you run, run to channels, holds it up. Excellent all-round player, really. So, so uh, the goals obviously added bonus for her and for us. But if it's it's no, we've got the other players providing as well. So, yeah, the thing with Charlie, when she isn't directly involved in a goal, if her name's not on the goal score sheet or if it's an assist, she's involved in every goal because she's <laughs> yeah, such yeah. a hassle. So the final goal, Gemma Simmons laid it. Uh, Gemma Hillier laid it back for Gemma Simmons. Great finish. If Charlie's not hustling and bustling in the box, that doesn't give Gemma Simmons the space. And hopefully she'll realise that because. Even if she's not scoring goals, she's doing mm. so much. Them, she's doing them, so yeah. much. All the shot in the Hampshire Cup quarter final coming up next. Uh, a yeah. 4 0 win. Great confidence to take into a game like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. Um, we've already said we, we, it's a good game for us to look at other players. Um, and the beauty of it is, I think we can have a look at maybe starting a few others next week, but the side won't be weakened. Um, so, Becky Hunt come on. I think everyone's, everyone's competing as well. So, mm. we've got the depth of the squads there. And everyone seems comfortable, we said today after the game, that those we've got involved from the bench, all, all comfortable, everyone's, yeah. everyone's comfortable coming on. Often you see at the end of a match, maybe when you're 4-0 up, maybe mm -hmm. the defence goes to sleep and you concede one at the end, but your defence holds your own even to the final whistle today. Mm -hmm. It did, there was one situation which we were a little bit unhappy with, um, yeah. when I think they, they were given a free kick on the edge of the box. Um, but you know what, in an FA Cup tie when you're 3-0 up, that, that's perhaps going to happen once and it didn't happen again. So um, Some great saves from Sadie yeah, as well, yeah, really yeah, good Sadie. double save. Oh yeah, that double save was yeah, fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah. brilliant. So next round of the cup. Yeah. So if you do get uh, through against Lewis, there's a chance of coming up against Super League opposition, home or away. It's going to be a great match if you manage to get there, isn't it? Yeah, Lewis first. Um, it's Lewis Gate at the moment. We've played Lewis three times this season. We do know them well. Um, but yeah, let's get past Lewis. And um, do you know what? Oh, they know how far. They know we want to get far in this. The players have got the burning desire. And, That's the yeah. incentive, isn't it, for next yeah. game? Was what we could get following that, so it's yeah. really got to, everything's got to go into that Lewis game. So yeah. Pompey ladies win 4-0 today in the second round. Ed and Perry, thank you very much for joining us. No worries. No problem. Get in there! <laughs>